classify the following reaction as addition, elimination, substitution, esterification or combustion. Okay, so let's try to see what's happening here. So what we, are, I mean, of course, I could just be like, okay, see how you have this plus this and now it's called forming one thing. So that's going to be called addition. But I actually want to explain exactly what's happening here. So you see what happens here is that we've got a double bond. Okay. Now what double bonds love to do is double bonds love to break. Okay. So they break the double bond. And then what that allows is that you see, because carbon always has to be surrounded by four things. So this carbon has one, two, three, four. Okay, and this carbon also has one, two, three, four. So if we break that double bond, let me actually break it by taking that out. Whoopsie, let's take that out. Okay, you see now what happens is that we now, each of those carbons now has uh, three things. So that double bond that broke up can be, we can rather break it up and then rather add a little attachment or bond over here, so we can add a bond over there, and we can add a bond over there. What then happens is that the H is going to go somewhere, and the CO is going to go somewhere else. Now, according to Makarnikov's rule, this is where you have to follow the riddle of the rich get richer, and then the poor, poorer get Poorer. And remember that when we talk about this riddle, we are talking about hydrogen, okay? And this part's not relevant. That's only when we do elimination. When you do addition, which is when you are adding molecules onto this molecule, that's called addition. You, you're adding things onto the molecule. So this H is going to go to the carbon. It says that the rich get richer. So the carbon that already has the most hydrogen is going to get another hydrogen because the rich get richer. So here's a carbon with two hydrogens, whereas this carbon only has one. Some of you might be saying, yeah, but Kevin, bro, listen up. This carbon has three, but we're not looking at that carbon. You're only allowed to look at the two carbons that were next to the double bond. Okay, so those are your only two options. So that means that this hydrogen over here is going to add on over there, okay? And then the Cl is going to go to the other place. And that is how we can see there's a Cl over here and there is an H. So I wanted to just give you a bit of a background about what's actually happening there. But the idea is, is that you are adding these two elements onto the molecule. So this is called addition, okay? That is going to be called addition.